in the magazines. How do they walk? How tough is it to walk so many runways? How do you learn? How do you survive? We talk to models about one of their craft, the runway walk, the poise, the eyes and the infinite, the poker face, the ambition of it all. Fashion is the art of walking, part two. Of course, the casting here is stellar. We talk with Malika Luba, Karen Elson, Loli Baya, Preciously, Lola Nikon, Mika Schneider, Mika Arganaraz, and Fran Summers, Anok Yei, Lia Kebede, Rian Von Rompe, Blesnia Miner, Selena Forrest, Caroline Murphy, Cara Taylor, Bella Hadid, Kristen McMenami, Rebecca Lee. We had Fendi, at Isabelle Maron, at Givenchy, at Versace, everywhere. Moodball! It's time to start the show. How tough is all this on models? When you're a supermodel, it's not fashion week, it's a fashion month. It's New York, then London, then Milan, then Paris. You do castings, fittings sometimes at night, then hardcore early call times, then rehearsals, then shows. Your hair is done, de-done, redone, de-done, redone, done, done, done. Same with makeup. You're made up like a stolen Rolls Royce. Then you're made up like a Lamborghini. Then it's supposed to be a nude makeup, but really you're made up like a Ferrari. They do a yellow lip and alien eyebrows. They raise your eyebrows. They paint your eyebrows. They glue a diamond between your eyebrows. They add one kilo of false lashes on each eyelid every day for a whole month. It's a most exciting job. Well, for the first two days. Zen is just an exercise in Zen. I know when I'm tired because I forget what country I'm in. So when I'm really tired, I remember I got really tired during New York and I thought I was in Paris. And then in London, after the show, I thought I was in Milan. So yeah, I forget what country I'm in. What's your trick to not My feel trick? so tired? I have to go outside and like look around and like read. The thing is, I have to go outside and read the signs so I know what country I'm in. But once I forget where I'm at, that's how I know I'm too tired. I mean, back in the day, when it felt the last day, you were like exhausted and delighted, delirious maybe. <laughs> when do you know you're about to burst? Paris. Yeah, when I'm, when I, when Which you're show? in lineup. Oh, it's mostly, um, I'm backstage at Miu Miu because it's the last, it's one of, it's the last day. And I'm always like, Sometimes I just have to turn my back to people because I can't even speak anymore. <laughs> I like your videos. They're really good. I watch them all. Just so you know, it's worth it. All is calibrated. The way you hold your handbag so it looks casual or a key element. And of course, you need to carry it in the hand that will be seen by the cameras when you do your U-turn at the end of the runway. Remember the bag. A gauche, go to Ali. They'll give you a reference, a distant learn. You want to see your bags. Before the show, you're briefed by the stylist, the choreographer or movement director, and by the topper, the person who sends out the models on the runway. They will articulate the subtleties of the season, the particular energy, keywords, your power, or your sexy, or your energy, or your happy. They used to tell you to look rich, but that's classist now. Of course, power is a keyword they'll tell you the most. We don't go too fast, right? No, no, but power. Okay. It's not a question of me. Of, yeah. So it's soft power, remember power. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you need to work really fast, a lot of energy. Super up, super excited, really up, really energetic, really beautiful and really happy. The biggest stress is for the model who's opening the show. Drum roll, lights, music, you. The runway is empty and a winter is waiting for you to appear. You embody the news, the trend, the possibility. You're the locomotive. The opening model needs to walk fast. She sets the pace for the other models. When it's a complicated runway, the pressure is on her. So I'm like, I get there and I do a little like prayer and then I and then I go. So like super easy. Do you pray for real? Yeah, yeah. it's cute. I like do a little one two like you know. I hope this goes well. Da da da. da amen. And then I go. Meet the supermodel.
How did you start modeling? How were you discovered? Um, I got scouted on Instagram because <laughs> I'm such a poser. Someone found me on there and was like, do you want to model? I was like, okay, I'll try. And then, you know, I was in school at the time and my mum was like, mm, I'm not sure. But then I was like, I'm going to prove you wrong. And then I gave it a year and everything went well, you know. Very lucky to have started with LV because they're amazing, they're huge, you know. So they gave me a really good platform. And here I am. So your very first show was the Louis Vuitton one? Yeah, my first show ever, I know. I still haven't like comprehended that and that I'm on like my fourth show, so yeah. How was it the first time? Um, I actually met one of my best friends, Grace. I met her through the show, you know, through like our hair and makeup test, so I don't know. I, I just love Elvie, I have nothing to say, I have not much else to say about them. But yeah, the first show, I will always remember it. Um, I watch it all the time, super like nostalgic and like, yeah, memorable for sure. What do you tell yourself just before going in the catwalk? I'm like, don't, and everyone says it, but don't trip. <laughs> like for, you know, try to remember what's up. But usually during the rehearsal, if I don't, if I, if I don't feel 100% comfortable the team's always happy to help and like show us around again like even on my own time I'm like okay can you show me the runway one more time I don't want to embarrass myself <laughs> and that's usually what happens here yeah. how do you feel about opening the show I'm so excited and uh, I'm so happy is this your first time opening the show yes it's my first show it's your first show yes ever Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and don't be nervous, you look amazing. You look so beautiful. No, I'm so surprised it's your first because I saw you during rehearsal and you were like a natural. She's perfect. It's perfect. She's just walking down the street. <laughs> a chic street. A very, very chic street. stressed out Iman Amam before opening a giant Balmain show. Everybody claps and she leaves the backstage for the stage. Determination is a word. The backdrop opens just for her and the room screams just for her. It was 6,000 people for that show. It was yeah. amazing. Yeah. 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 It was so great to open the show. I mean, it's such a powerful, strong walk. I don't know if you saw me walking. Yes, I saw. But I was like, I have to give it to him. I just walked how I always walk, like very strong, powerful, and feeling myself, you know, and the music was so good. It's so important. Of course, there is the option of the total surprise, not the opening, but in the middle of the show, when Kate Moss appears in the middle of the Bodega Veneta show. Totally nonchalant, perverse banality. What do you rather, closing or closing or opening? Opening. Why? I don't know, just the excitement of knowing you're the first one to walk out. It's a little scary though, because you don't have anyone to follow. So if it's, a, if it's a tricky runway, you know, you have to really know. You have to be the one who knows where everyone else is going, kind of. But opening is better. Okay. Do it. Let's go. Victoria Charity was acting cool and casual backstage one second ago, but suddenly, the instant she steps on the runway, she becomes this unattainable deity. She's the only person allowed to move in this room. The contrast is impressive. Everyone looks at her, she looks at no one. Everything is still, everybody is still, except for Victoria and for the heads that turn as she passes. You walk, you are in an abstraction, you walk on air. The room is in the dark until you appear. And when you emerge, fashion is alive. Each step you take is an order, an impulse to reinvent ourselves. You're aspirational. You're a money maker, you're a fashion game changer. They close the streets of Milan and New York so you can walk. You're under the podium, you're on the podium. Your face is on the giant screens, you strut. Without you, it's just an empty void. When you start walking, companies put it live on YouTube. When you start walking, the LVMH stock rises up and up and up. You walk and Karen gets richer. 
People look at you on their phone, they comment on your walk. You walk on water, you walk in the desert, you walk on the mountain, you walk on the Eiffel Tower. You walk in lavender, you walk on the Chambord Castle, you walk in Pompidou, you walk inside the Tate. You walk between the columns of the British Museum. You are a vampire, you are above the laws. You are all the capitals, you are Miami, you are Antwerp, you are New York, you are Paris. You walk on the moon, you walk around the sun. You walk in the garden, you walk on a green screen. You walk in museums, you are a performance, you are indéchiffrable. You hide your real emotions, you hide your panic, you hide your fatigue, you are mystery, you are serenissima. You're floating, fashion is a bubble and you just walk inside of it. You're a top and the first row is your bottom, you're a people pleaser. You're the empress of planet intimidation. You walk against the elements. You're indifferent to the storm. You have style, you have grace, you give good face. You're a fashion machine. Don't just stand there. Let's get to it. Strike a pose. There's nothing to it. Being the bride. The stress is forgotten or almost forgotten when you're rewarded with the grail of modeling being the bride at the end of the Chanel Haute Couture fashion show. That's what happened to then unknown French model Lola Nikon. Vous en aviez rêvé de ce moment Porter une robe de mariée Chanel sur un cheval blanc Particulièrement, oui. <laughs> C'est ça, on en rêve même pas tellement. C'est un peu impossible. C'est-à-dire que je n'allais pas mon fitting déjà, j'ai appris que j'allais être euh, du coup, le, le look de la bride. Et après, elle m'a dit Oui, tu vas peut-être être sur un cheval blanc, tout ça, je suis en mode. Aussi. Ok. C'est vrai que quand j'ai commencé à être mannequin, j'avais particulièrement envie de travailler avec Chanel. Et donc là, c'est un peu de voir le look de la mariée, les filets de couture, sur le plus, le cheval, tout ça. On est bon sur le CV là. Ça se passe comme prévu en fait. How do they walk like this? It's a matter of training, learning to walk with high heels, to look serious but never bored. Walk like a supermodel. Oh my god, um, it took a long time for me to feel like I was doing it right. Focus on Brunelline Mora. Of course, like when you go into your agency, they like help you and they like train you, but honestly, like it's never gonna feel right until you just do it like over and over and over and over again, especially when you start doing it like in shows too. It's such a different experience that. I mean, I didn't feel confident in it after like my like second or third season. <laughs> Two seasons, you were not, you, you felt awkward? Yeah, I mean, I think I'm also someone that just like really gets in my own head. So I was just convinced that I looked like ridiculous all the time. And then it was like by my third or fourth season, I was like, okay, maybe I'm not like terrible at this. If it's working, it's working. I guess so. <laughs> it's like learning a language? Yeah, I mean, it just like, it just takes time to like, Because you have to like learn how to do it, and then you have to like forget how to do it, so that it will like look natural and normal, I guess. What do you do with your face? Um, I usually like focus on one point, and I try to make my face as relaxed as possible. So if you really, really focus on something, that will kind of bring you a little bit of intensity. But I also make sure to like breathe and stuff, especially right before I know the camera's gonna be there because I try to breathe in and then breathe out. So then otherwise my face isn't all like, you know, <laughs> like crazy looking. <laughs> Do you have this kind of, I'm the richest in the room? Kind of? Um. No, I should do that, but normally I'm just like really focused on walking in a straight line. Gotta work on that. <laughs> Always to improve. Thanks. Who taught you how to walk on the catwalk? Um, I took one lesson when I was 16 and I cried and never did it again. So nobody. <laughs> nobody. I just walk. Who taught you how to walk? J'ai appris toute seule dans, dans les rues de Paris. Quand tout le monde dormait, je prenais mon téléphone, je le posais sur une fenêtre et je marchais jusqu'à ce que je me séduise moi-même dans la démarche. Focus, Malika Loubac. C'est quoi votre premier défilé 
Mon premier défilé, alors j'ai commencé chez les hommes. Ouais, mais j'ai commencé avec Ami. Et après, mon premier défilé sur Paris, ça a été saint -Louis. Ça m'a fait me dire que j'ai envie d'en faire un milliard d'autres. J'en ai encore les frissons quand j'en parle, c'était incroyable. Comment tu as commencé le mannequinat mais je me suis tout simplement présentée, j'ai cherché, euh, je n'étais pas du tout de ce monde-là, donc j'ai cherché quelle était la meilleure euh, agence sur le marché. On m'a dit IMG, j'ai tapé à la porte, ils m'ont signé et c'est parti comme ça. C'est quel âge euh, J'avais 24 ans. Heureusement que je n'ai pas écouté les gens. Hein. Ouais, j'avais 24 ans. Oh, 24 ans, t'es trop vieille, euh, tu vas être euh, avec plein de jeunes et jolies jeunes filles. J'ai dit, mais vous avez une jeune et jolie jeune fille en face de vous non, autant qu'on collabore et qu'on travaille ensemble, faites-moi confiance et directement, mon équipe m'a fait directement confiance, c'est ça qui m'a qui m'a poussé à encore plus donner et puis j'adore ce que je fais maintenant. C'était quoi votre rapport à la mode quand vous étiez plus jeune J'étais euh, plus un garçon manqué moi. Oui. Là j'ai pris tous les vêtements de mes grands-parents, parce que mes grands-parents pour moi c'est mes icônes mode. Là tu as une veste Saint-Laurent des années 70 de mon papy, tu vois. J'ai récupéré tous leurs vêtements et euh, je les ai un peu remerciés à ma source. Comment ils s'appellent vos grands-parents Mon papy s'appelle Guy, du côté de mon père. Et euh, ma, ma mamie, du côté de mon père, elle s'appelle Jacqueline. Du côté de ma mère, c'est Oumed et Amoun. Qu'est-ce que vous avez hérité de leur ah, sens de la mode J'ai hérité qu'à partir du moment où tu, tu aimes ton corps de la tête aux pieds, tu peux porter tout ce que tu veux, you will rock it. Tu peux porter tout ce que tu veux. Et, et vraiment, je, je ressens ça même quand je, quand je porte une tenue pour un défilé, je, je, je prends au corps la tenue. C'est-à-dire que moi et la tenue, on est en symbiose. Donc je vais faire en sorte de s'il y a des volants, les bouger, euh, enfin m'amuser avec la tenue et la mettre le plus en valeur, bien sûr, en gardant une, toujours une petite touche élégante qui est très, très, très importante. Le regard est là. On ne sait pas trop si je suis venue te régler tes comptes ou si je suis venue te faire un bisou. C'est ça que j'aime bien aussi. Et vous vous inspiriez d'autres marges de mannequins ou non, c'était la vôtre et vous vouliez trouver la vôtre Je voulais absolument trouver la, la mienne parce qu'au début, j'ai regardé beaucoup de dépilés et je me suis dit, j'ai pas envie d'avoir une démarche, on va dire, qui rentre dans une boîte. J'ai pas envie d'être... Enfin, j'ai envie d'avoir ma signature. Et je pense que le plus important, c'est d'avoir de, de, bah, sa signature à soi. Et pour moi, ça devait être ma démarche. C'est une espèce d'intimité que tu te crées avec le public même, je trouve. La, la démarche, c'est un jeu en fait. C'est un jeu et j'adore jouer. C'est quoi le détail qui fait la différence sur le podium C'est le regard, c'est les épaules, c'est les hanches, c'est quoi C'est la silhouette. C'est la silhouette. À partir du moment où tu as une silhouette, entre guillemets, qui, qui envoie, tu, tu, tu peux séduire tout le monde, même la personne qui t'aime pas, tu l'entends, tu dis waouh. Regardez les gens dans le public quand vous marchez. Toujours, toujours j'ai besoin de sentir cette connexion là. J'ai besoin de bah, d'avoir ce lien avec le, le public en fait, qui me donne encore plus de force et mais qui, qui me donne encore plus de, je sais pas, de, de, de force dans ma marche, c'est ça. Et comme j'essaye toujours d'avoir, tu sais, ce petit smile dans les yeux parce que c'est des moments de bonheur. On est là pour célébrer la création. On est là pour célébrer la mode, on est là pour célébrer plein de choses, donc c'est des moments de bonheur. Donc j'essaie toujours d'avoir ce smile dans les yeux et ma mère le voit et elle me dit j'ai l'impression que tu me souris. Donc c'est euh, génial. It's time for a pa 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 moment, it's time for a lesson on how to walk. You don't need to take notes for this lesson, just to get up, go in the hallway if you have one, or the living room, or the deck of the yacht if you're watching this on your boat. Follow the instructions and walk and have fun. Sometimes a house will have a choreographer come and brief the models. He's called the movement director. Here it's Les Child, who's a dancer, a motion master, a gesture stylist, a mood supervisor. The genius Les Child is asked by Kim Jones before the Fendi shows to have the models in a trance. Before a disco show, he will put them in a sultry mood. Before the haute couture show, he will teach them to be celestial, unreachable goddesses. Let's see him in action. Please note everything Les Child says is pure motivation speech, pure fashion talk. What's your name again? I'm calling you Jojo. Because you've been... Hello, oh, my jo name? Yes. <laughs> Look, call me Jojo. That's I nice. love Jojo. <laughs> What's your call real name? Loïc. Loïc. Yes. Since we are the fashion pack. Mm, 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 mm. You got the fashion. Style. The look. In 
the magazines, the other fashion, fashion. Nouveau personnage. So you're an expensive young lady. Okay. You have a rich partner, mm -hmm. whatever your partner is, mm -hmm. and you're fabulous. You don't have to rush for the train. Okay. You don't have to rush for any appointment, darling. Okay. They wait for you. Okay. So you can just take your time and be extra fabulous, okay. the fabulous that you are. The fabulousness is at 10. They talk to you and the fabulousness is at 100. Oh, bless you, child. <laughs> You just inspire confidence, you know, they have it there already. They just need telling sometimes, you know, permission to be themselves, permission to be fabulous. <laughs> Good girl, that's better. You're beautiful. Lift your chin and let them have... Give the world a treat. Give the world something lovely. We need it. Convey their own personality. You know, there's nothing wrong in being yourself. Like the girls of yesteryear, like the models was where their personality came forth. And you just love them for being who they were. And I just hope, I hope that is sort of, I hope he comes back. The little, little relax on the face, the little, that, little, that little smile. What's happening? Where's that from? Guinea, Palafri. Guinea, oh, go, go. Yeah. Gorge. Oh, thank you. Lovely, refreshingly gorge, honest to God. Keep it. Really? Don't the people tell you? Oh, well, there you go, girl. Confirmation. <laughs> Everything else is fabulous. Go, girl. Fabulous. You think they work like machines sometimes? Yes. There's this trend of them just being robotic where, where their personality individuality is quashed. Clock, yeah. clock, clock, clock. Don't be ashamed to be gorgeous. So they become a generic, and it's kind of threatening. It's like, mm -hmm. that woman is scary. I, wanna, I don't want to be scared of a model. I want to get to know her. I want to know who she is. I want to be attracted by her and wonder, oh my God, What world does she live in? It should be aspirational, not frightening. I mean, okay, I don't mind a generic walk, but this one's, it's, it's, like in, it's like a truck coming towards you sometimes. Do you know what I mean? Can I ask you one question? Okay. You're the only model, the choreographer, did not uh, say, oh, you should do this and this and this. Really? And he all tells them you should be personal. That's so funny. It's a very nice compliment that he didn't correct me. Put that in my pocket. Meet the supermodel. I mean, personally, I walk different for every show because they want such different things. But I was horrible at walking for like the first three years of my career. I was just like this. I'm very straight. And then at some point, I got a bit more confident and I learned, I, I taught myself how to like make it more my own. But it takes experience to make it your own because otherwise, You don't know what to do. It's not like walking the street. How would you describe your signature? My signature? Your way of walking. I think the fact that I walk a little bit differently for every show, depending on what show I'm walking, is maybe my signature. I found my own walk a little bit, that I felt like, oh, when I walk like this, I feel confident. But also, I think this dress makes me feel a certain way. So I walk like that. I don't know how to explain it. It's really, sir. I don't know. I found it really hard. I don't know. I don't na like naturally have that my hips move like in this. So it took me a few years. But now I feel confident, and I also, I don't know. I feel good in myself, so I can play a little bit with that. What's the best walk you ever did? The best catwalk. I want. There's a video that I still look at sometimes. It's a um, show for Versace, where I'm walking. And I don't know how I did it, but my whole body is like a snake and it just moves like this. And since then, every time after the holidays, I look at this video to be like, I need to figure this shit out, see if we can do it like this. Since Adrienne Van Rompuy hit a new personal record of elegance with this Saint Laurent walk for spring summer 23, the dress is slightly impeded. Each step is quite small, but never seems to be small. The hips, the shoulders, 
everything is moving, nothing is moving. The sensuality is cosmic. This is Fashion School, the work to look at if you're learning the art of top modeling. Every brand has its own work. The Celine work is ferocious, but elegant. The Moschino work is glamorous. Hands on hips, one hand in the pocket. The Paco Rabanne work is focused and independent. The Bodega Veneta work is casual at the airport lounge. The Hermes work is déterminé and different, posé, rapide. The Dior work is minimal. No hands on hips, no laser eyes, no fuss. The recurrence work is more quiet than you think because you don't need any walking effect when the dress is already like this. Same at Marc Jacobs, the more fabric there is, the less you need to do anything to impress. The Prada work is fast like a scoop, it's a decision, it's a new trend appearing, the face is focused, the emotions is take note, quick. The Ralph Lauren work is timelessness, rich, 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 I own the building, I own the block, I own the city, I don't own a watch, I own time, I cannot be late because they'll wait for me anyway. The Vetement work is a tomahawk. I don't have time for this, but a sexy tomahawk. You're not running? Well, almost. The Colina Strada walk is running. The Vaquera walk is n'importe quoi. Dégage de là, it's anarchy. Alexander McQueen is surprisingly quite sensual. You're knitting with your feet. The Gucci walk is I'm late, but I don't care, but still, I'm late. There's a Isabelle Maran walk. It's a straight walk, quite fast, but not hypersonic. The shoulders don't move. Hands in pockets, no hips. It's a factual walk. And maybe, Irina, don't stand too much like that. Be a bit mm -hmm. more relaxed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, that's my, my attitude. Moi, j'adore les épaules chez une femme. Et je suis moins sur, euh, axée sur la poitrine, donc j'ai tendance un peu à, à faire ça que ça. Okay. <laughs> Isabelle Marant doesn't just tell you a key word, she sets the mood in the backstage. Now I know it's not easy, sorry for my shitty shoes, sorry girls! <laughs> And we have a party by the way just after the show, so you're welcome with your own clothes. <laughs> Even more welcome. Allez, more okay. Bye bye. Yeah. Girls, Selena is going to speak for you because she's doing it better than I now. She's so used to do it. Everybody, you guys look hot. You guys look sexy. I want you to channel your inner Isabel. I want you guys to work it. And um, you know, girls and boys just want to have fun, right? Yeah. Music is super loud. You're conditioned to feel like you're walking in front of the line of people waiting outside of the party, but the bouncer is waving at you and let you in right away, without paying of course. You don't have to tell him you're on the list, you are the list. Well, maybe you party too much, but that's another story. It's fun, you know, a lot of the time it's backstage, it'll be like, and you feel like you have to, I don't know, tone yourself down, but here, I don't feel that way. Uh, they play music, good music, and you know, they just let you be, so I like that. A lot of people tell me my walk is really gangster, but I'd like to say for Isabel Moran, let's just say it's a little boyish, but I'm gonna give her a little something, you know? Comment on marche un défi Isabel Moran? Rhythmique, avec des grands pas, et on joue. Well, always the music is super energetic, so then it makes you want to walk more. Yes. Yeah. Like it's in the hips, you do show more yeah. the hips. How do you have to march for this? Energetic, sexy. I like the music, it's always super entraining. Is it because it's a challenge in the evening? No, it's even more challenging in the evening because I'm tired. What's your signature of march? Me? Oh, C'est quoi votre marche Effortless. Ah ouais, la parisienne. Ouais. Non, bah non, lyonnaise. Ma marche est euh, lyonnaise. Model focus, Lolibaya. C'était quelle heure le call time ce matin 8 heures. Oh, ça va. Ça va. Ça va. Ça va. Et j'ai vu tellement mal au pied que j'ai dû acheter des chaussons hier. Mais non. Ah, si. Après Barbarie Puis les pieds détruits. Ah ouais. <rire>
Mmh, c'est horrible. Pourquoi À cause des chaussures. Elles étaient trop petites Non, elles étaient euh, horribles. C'était genre un tamou comme ça, bien haut, avec juste une, bou une, euh, une bague sur le gros doigt de pied et tous les autres orteils à l'air. Ah, C'était oui. vraiment... Et euh, en haut, là, là. Et on a 12 prises, c'est ça Ou c'était live 70. 70 prises Avec... Euh, non, non, mais c'est pas trop fort. Hein. Ressenti Beaucoup. Ouais, avec en plus moi j'avais deux looks, donc tout multiplié par deux. Et mes pieds ont eu très très mal. Qui vous a appris à marcher euh, Moi c'est mon agent. Qui c'est votre agent Osana et QV. Osana Osana. Et comment elle s'est prise euh, bah, C'était une ancienne mannequin. Du coup, euh, elle a mis une paire de talons. On s'est mis dans le couloir de mon agence. Elle m'a dit maintenant tu marches comme ça, comme ça, comme ça et, et voilà. C'était plusieurs petites séances d'une vingtaine, trentaine de minutes. Mais c'est long, hein, 20-30 minutes à faire des allers-retours dans un couloir avec des talons. Au début c'est pas facile. Vous aviez jamais parlé à porter de talons en plus, c'est ça Non, jamais. Jamais, jamais. Comment vous définissez votre marche euh... Naturel. C'est-à-dire euh... c'est vraiment. Enfin, c'est moi. J'essaye d'être plus féminine que je le suis dans ma marche de tous les jours, mais c'est un mélange entre dynamisme et dynamisme. Bonne réponse. Et vous marchez sur la musique ou vous... Ça dépend, ça dépend. Mais le oui, si on peut, le plus facile c'est de se caler sur la musique, mais si on peut pas, bah on peut pas. On entend tout le temps Alexandre de Bétac dire euh, garder le rythme, garder l'espace avec la fille devant vous. Ouais. C'est quelque chose. Pourquoi il le dit bah, C'est filmé de sorte à ce que les mannequins elles arrivent droit et les caméras sont en face d'elle. Donc s'il y a par exemple deux mannequins qui se collent un peu trop, on va pas voir la deuxième quand la première va partir. Enfin, on va pas bien voir son look ni sa tête. Donc c'est important de garder l'espace pour que esthétiquement ça rende, ça rende mieux et qu'on puisse voir bien correctement le, le vêtement. Ouais. La fille devant vous tombe, vous faites quoi euh... T'as pas rigolé Je la contourne, voilà c'est ça. Je... Ah vous la contournez Bah je pense hein. Ah ouais pas de pitié le lit. Bah non, <rire> le show must go on. Ah ouais, vrai. Je ah pense ouais. que si tout le monde s'arrête, c'est là que ça devient un peu plus problématique. Alors que si elle se relève vite et que fait comme si de rien n'était, ça passera mieux que si tout le monde s'arrête et vient en belle. J'imagine. Sauf si elle a très mal, enfin évidemment. Est-ce que vous adaptez votre marche à chaque défilé ou pas Oui. Euh, chaque, défi... enfin, chaque défilé, c'est une marche à peu près différente. Enfin, ça dépend, mais... Euh... Par exemple, aujourd'hui, quand j'ai fait les fittings, j'avais une marche plutôt rapide et dynamique, et on m'a dit de, fa... de marcher un peu plus doucement et un petit peu plus euh, sensuellement, si possible. Donc, ouais, chaque défilé a une marche différente. Ouais, il disait de marcher comme une riche. <rire> ouais, ouais, c'est ça. ça. <rire> Je me balade dans ma rue avec mes petits caniches et mon gros manteau en fond. Euh, chez Vuitton, vous marchez comment ah, Chez Vuitton, c'est très énergique, pas du tout de hanche, euh, très, euh, le plus boyish possible. T'es en retard, tu vas rater ton train, faut que vite et tout. Pour elle, je, pareil, très dynamique, mais avec des hanches, mais toujours euh, rapide, euh, très sérieux, pas, de, pas, pas forcément sexy. Ou très... Ah, Saint-Laurent, c'est hyper, hyper sexy. Hyper, euh, beaucoup de hanches. Euh, Très grande dame. Et Céline Jamais fait. Pas encore fait. Okay. Chanel, euh, très, euh, très élégant. Chanel, c'est une marche élégante. Chaque mus, pareil. Sexy aussi. Sans en faire trop. Vous aviez l'air presque naïve chez Jacques Mus. Oui, bah, c'était la première fois que j'ouvrais un show et en plus, c'était un gros show. Bah, Jacques Mus, c'est un show important. J'avais beaucoup de pression, j'étais hyper stressée. Comment vous l'avez trouvé Ma marche, un peu trop d'épaule. J'ai une épaule qui est complètement euh, désaxée, c'est un peu dommage. Enfin, je vais la prochaine fois. Merci Loli. De rien. Trop bien, bon défi tout à l'heure. Merci. Et bon le croissant Pas mieux que Paris. Each house has its work. And what happens when the house is new or does not really exist When Fendi collaborated with Versace for a simple one and only exceptional Fendace collection, models had to guess what would be the work for this. The Fendace work. Super strong, powerful work, over the top, quite camp actually. The day before the show, we talked to Preciously. 
it's just like you really have to get into the garment and like understand what it is that you want to exude from it and understand what the purpose of like the collection is and so knowing the background of these two major iconic houses and knowing the energy that they bring separately and kind of like merging that together making it your own so that's what i'm doing i don't know what anybody else is doing but i am just over the fucking moon <laughs> can you tell me who teaches you to walk well, I had many runways in my childhood home that my parents would literally like have to sit them down and watch me walk. And of course, I learned a real walk from the Versace runway 90s and just seeing like all those girls doing all of the like twirls and just really feeling it and owning the runway and not just giving stone face, but really like bringing their personality to the walk is just, like that's what it's about. You don't want to just see somebody walk down a runway and not bring anything to the garment. So of course, seeing all of the legends do the runway walk in the 90s, for me, that's where I took my walk from. Oh, really? Yeah, I've like watched, I've literally watched those YouTube videos and like just gag at just how much fun a girl can have. Like as a model, sometimes you don't think about like, you know, how you're just constantly like on the stage, but like also making the stage your own. So I love when a girl feels good and looks good. So I love a, a strong walk. I love a confident walk. Um, and I just think of like a statement, I own everything, everything is mine as I'm walking down the runway and it just, boop, it comes out. What do you think will be the walk for this? The walk is... You come to Versace, you come to Fenty, you need to do Fenty. Fendace. I just think it's rich. I think it's expensive. <laughs> That's the walk. <laughs> It's like a very confident, elegant woman who knows that she is beautiful inside out. That's, that's how I'm going to walk in it. Anyway, that's how I'm going to do it. Icons of the 1990s, Kristen McMenemy was also on stage, but her point of view was, when it's over the top, don't overplay too much. Be yourself and play. You know what? I have never planned what I'm going to do on the runway. I have never planned my walk. It goes with the music, it goes with the energy of the crowd, and it goes with the outfit. And I just I do it the best I can. Sometimes I fall, sometimes I, I, I mess up, but I try. Did somebody teach you how to walk on the runway? Never. I've never learned. I don't know how to walk. I trip in the street all the time. I'm the most clumsy person that you could ever imagine. Every once in a while, a fashion show will try to get out of the casual walk. For its summer 2022 collection, Virginie Viard at Chanel wanted the models to emulate the runways of the beginning of the 1990s, when they were swirling, interacting with each other, playing with their bags, teasing the photographers at the end of the podium. So Chanel built a higher stage, had photographers all around it, including our own Julien D'Acosta. And of course, backstage, the models were super excited to be asked to play a different partition. Moi, c'est mon rêve. C'est uh, génial de pouvoir finalement uh, s'exprimer. Je pense que uh, chaque mannequin se prend vraiment en jeu et, uh, et uh, je pense qu'en restant les personnalités de chaque fille, et c'est uh, juste incroyable de pouvoir sourire, de se regarder uh, de, et finalement de pouvoir les faire vraiment comme avant et faire des pirouettes et faire une démarche uh, ultra féminine. It reminds me of the 1990s cat catwalks. We are actually allowed to be free, have fun, smile, turn to the audience, talk, like, look at them, pose, you know, just have fun, just be ourselves, you know, be free, enjoy it, enjoy it. What will you do on this runway? I just, I, I just turn around like this, like that, 
and that's all. I have to make sure I didn't fall down. Oh yeah, be careful. Ça va, vous êtes prêts ou pas? Ah ouais. Dans un sens. Ah ouais. Puis c'est ce qu'on s'est dit tout à l'heure aussi, c'est que, enfin, faut vraiment profiter maintenant parce que ça se fait plus de faire des catwalks comme ça. Ça, et je pense pas que ça va se refaire tout le temps non plus, quoi. Les tours. Faut l'oser, hein, parce ouais, que euh, euh, ouais. il faut pas tomber, ouais, euh, pas se casser la gueule, je vais tomber sur Julien après. Ou alors euh, rentrer dans d'autres mannequins. Ouais, c'est vrai, euh... ah, il faille me rater aussi, bah, ça, peut, ça, peut être, ça peut être un délire, hein, tu vois, genre... Like, give it up, like, it has to be fun, cheerful, interfere with each other, come on, don't be afraid. Um, I think I just kind of like showed it off a little bit, did a, like a little hair twirl, and then a wink. Yeah, I I should have done a wink, but I didn't. <laughs> but yeah, it was fun. How did it feel? Unreal. It was Unreal. our first show. Surreal. Our yeah. first Chanel show. Our first Chanel show. And you did right. that? Right. Yes. It was the most amazing experience of my life. For sure. Definitely on the list. Definitely on the list. Yeah. How was it there? Out it there? Was Amazing! It was surreal. It was free because normally you have to walk straight and everything, and they were like, "Just be you." And who was in the audience? Lily Rose Depp and Kristen Stewart, and the K-pop mega star Jenny from Blackpink, who clearly enjoyed the new deal. Honestly, it was one of the most energetic shows that I've been to. It was so much fun, and like the presence of the photographers everywhere. You know, it's not something like I run into. It, it felt like I was at a real runway. It was amazing. It was so fun and so buoyant. I felt like I was watching like a show of bubbles. Everyone was floating. It was beautiful. What did you think of the models doing their thing? When you think of fashion runway, in your mind, you kind of imagine everyone very solemnly walking down and, and, and presenting the clothing because they're very self-serious and the clothes are more important than the girl. But it seemed like the girls were you know, not more important, but just that they yeah, felt like they loved themselves and they felt like they... It was an homage to the 80s and 90s, but I felt like it was so modern. Like, this is what we want right now. We want to be able to laugh at ourselves and each other and enjoy it and feel beautiful. And I, I love that they were, like, whipping their hair around. And it felt like a... I don't know, it was like a mix between, like, a concert and a fashion show. I loved it. This is, a, this is my last show, so I'm, like, drinking champagne. I'm gonna go for a nice lunch. I'm gonna go for a nice dinner. I'm... I love Fashion Week. <laughs> Suddenly. <laughs> But how are you feeling? Uh, dead inside. <laughs> I think the best thing you can do is just take good care of yourself. Take good care, rest when you can, and have strict boundaries. If you're being worked too hard and you're exhausted, it's okay to say no to something. Because your sanity is more important than a show. I don't think there's a trick. I think you get tired. <laughs> Compide. Pardon? Ouais. C'est quoi? J'ai pas entendu le mot. Compide. Compide, ça veut dire quoi? Pansement. Les compides. <laughs> ah oui. Yeah. Ah oui, c'est passé par des pansements. Ah oui, oui, oui. I think um, just keeping my friends close, my close friends close, and calling my family is very important. And sleep. Prioritize sleep. 
sleep anywhere you can in the makeup chair, in the bed, on the floor, anywhere. And you'll be okay. And drinking water. And coffee. And matcha. Oh, wait, matcha. Not matcha. I'm obsessed. Ah ouais, complice. Ah ouais, d'accord. Ça c'est pratique. Ça c'est euh, must have. <laughs> laugh. Sorry. Really laugh. Just keep on laughing and keep on making jokes because otherwise it becomes very sad. I think that's the best way to keep it and not to be on your phone all the time doing Instagram. It's nice to look up and talk to people and laugh. This guy, for example. He's the oh, best. We've been laughing for, for la 50 years. years. <laughs> <laughs> Get us started. Oh. We had a lot of fun. A lot and of fun. Still, still having still fun. There. And it's so nice because we have so many girls that we get to do this all together. So when I, you know, when one of us feels tired, we all kind of help each other. And at this point, you know, we're on our third week now together. So we're all feeling the same way. We're all very tired. And we kind of just support each other. It's like, you're gonna be okay, you're gonna be okay, you're gonna be okay. A lot of hugs, some wine at night, that usually helps. But lots of sleep. I love you. Voilà, this was our second masterclass about modeling on the runway. I hope this answered your many questions about this very special profession on which the luxury fashion industry depends. Now I think Mika, Rian and Vittoria have a message for you. So Rian, yeah. if you want to look at Loic's videos, you need to subscribe to his channel. Subscribe? Yeah, first of all, follow him on Instagram and then subscribe. And like? Yeah, and like everything. Comment? Comment too. Twice. Yeah, please. <laughs> Perfect. And you can binge on all my other fashion videos, including the first masterclass about walking on the runway. Mood board! Yeah.